Hey guys, it's Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Our lesson for today is Ugokino Kanji. So let's start with this kanji. It's Onyomi is can, and it's Konyomi is Miru no Mi. Just like this, Miru, which means look or see. This is how we write can or Miru no Mi. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, there is me or I. Six, seven. The examples that I have for you for this kanji are Kengaku, ken This kanji, ken Plus gaku or school no kanji Kengaku Guys, Kengaku means study by observation or just field trip And the other example that I can share with you is the word mieru Which means can see or look or mite is also okay. Mieru. Can see. Mieru. So this is mi. Eru. Can see or can look. For example, I'm with my kids and we are waiting for my husband to come. Let's say we are at the airport and I want to say to my kid that I can see their dad's head ah daddy no atama mieru yo i can see your dad's head yeah that is how you use mieru okay the next kanji for today is this kanji onyomi it's onyomi is ritsu and you and it's kunyomi is tatsu tatsu no ta daki ga kono kanji desu ne so this is how we write tatsu so ta and then tsu like that okay so let us get to waste this so this is how we write Ritsu, Ryu, or Tatsu no Ta. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of small. Five strokes only. So the examples that I have for you are Koritsu. Koritsu means public. Ko. Ko no ko. Ko and then Ritsu. It means public. Guys, if, if I want to say public school, Koritsu Gakko. Gakko. Sorry. So this is Gakko. Koritsu Gakko means public school. The other example that I have for you is that's it. Yeah, this one. That's that means stand up, or you can say tat tat te kodasai. Tat te. Tat te. Or stand up. For example, you want your students to stand up. Mina sang tat te kodasai. Everybody, please stand up. Tat te kodasai. Please stand up. Okay guys, so those are my examples for this kanji. Our next kanji is this. It's onyomi is Q and it's kunyomi is yasumu. No, yasu dake ga kono kanji, just like this. Yasumu. Oh, sorry. Mu. Yasumu, which means to take a break. Okay, so this is how we write Yasumu no Yasu or Q. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is Yasu. Mu no Yasu. The examples that I have for you are Kyujitsu. Kyujitsu, guys, means day off or holiday day off or holiday so this one first this kanji first yasu no kanji plus nichi no kanji so this one is kyujitsu kyujitsu this kanji you can also read this as hi or ni nichiyobi no ni okay so yasu mu 
plus hi no kanji is kyujutsu. Kyo wa kyujutsu desu. Today is holiday. Okay? The other example that I have for you is, yeah, this one, yasumu or let's say yasumi. Yasumi. Can you see? I'm afraid you cannot see my writing. So anyway, yasumi. Guys, yasumi means day off. Let's say, oh, kyo wa watashi no yasumi desu. Today is my day off. Okay, so we are done with our third kanji. Today we only have four kanji for Obokino kanji. Our next kanji, let me change my pen. Our next kanji is this kanji. It's Onyomi is new. Kunyomi is iru no i ireru no i dake ga kono kanji desu ne. And then hairu or hai dake ga kono kanji and then ru is in hiragana. Guys, iru, ireru, hairu means to enter. Whenever you see this kanji, it means to enter. For example, this one, new gaku, new gaku shiki, new gaku shiki, new this kanji plus gaku. So, to enter the school and then shiki is ceremony. Anyway, this is how we write this kanji. So this is one. This is one and then two. Guys, this kanji is similar to nin. Nin no kanji, but the strokes are kind of kind of not the same. So this is ireru no kanji. Nin, ningen or nin no kanji is like this. So it's like the counterpart of this one. Okay. The examples that I have for you are are iriguchi, iri. So this one only the e is this kanji. E. Oh my goodness. Okay. So iriguchi, e. One, two. This is e. Di, guchi. Guys, guchi means mouth or kuchi. So this is iri guchi. Kuchi becomes guchi. Iri guchi means entrance. The other example that I have for you is yes, hairu. One, two, three. So hairu means to enter. For example. You don't want the kids to enter the room. Haira nai de kudasai. Okay? Please don't enter the room. Haira nai de kudasai. Or sometimes, when you are, let's say, outside, you will see the kanji hairu na. No, 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 no. Sorry. Hairu na. It means don't enter. You are being prohibited from entering that place. You will see this kanji. Hairu na. Please don't enter. Okay. The next kanji that we have for today is if we have enter or entrance. Next we have exit or deru. Deru deguchi. If we have iruguchi, we have deguchi. Okay, so the onyomi of this kanji are sui and shutsu, and its konyomi is deru no de. The kiga kono kanji this ne is like this, and then ru deru. Okay, so this is how we write deru no kanji. One, two, three, four, five. The examples that I have for you are. Deguchi. If we have entrance, which is iriguchi, we have deguchi. De. Then kuchi, our mouth. This is exit. De. Deguchi. And then the other example that I have for you is yes, deru. Deru. Means go out. 
for example, I wanna say to my kids that I'm gonna go out. Ay, makara, deru yo. I'm gonna go out now. That is how we use deru. So guys, these are the kanji for ogoki no kanji. So before we end our lesson for today, I'm gonna give you four kanji and please try to read this kanji, okay? I'm gonna give you four. Four kanji for today's quiz. The first one is this one. Let me erase this one first. The first kanji is this. Guys, I'm gonna give you three seconds to answer this first quiz. So, three, two, one. The answer is Ken Gaku. Ken Gaku. Okay, so if you get it right, or, or if you got it right, congratulations. Okay, so the next kanji is, anyway, kengaku means study by observation or just field trip. Our second kanji is this. Again, you have three seconds to read this kanji. Three, two, one. The answer is hairu or to enter. Okay. Can you see my writing? I hope so. Okay, so our third kanji is this one. Three seconds to answer. Three, two, one. The answer is koritsu. Okay, guys, our third kanji, I'm just, I will just gonna write over here so you can see it. Our last kanji is this one. Number four is. Guys, you have three seconds to answer. Three, two, one. The answer for this kanji is de guchi. De guchi, which means exit. Guys, we are done with our agoki no kanji. I hope you learned something from today's video and see you soon. Goodbye!